Hi everybody, Sensei Mark Gallagher here from AmeriKick Northeast Philadelphia. This is your AmeriKick at home training and our junior Kenpo lesson this week is going to be using our Kenpo patterns in different scenarios. Please, let's get started. We're going to work off our orange belt sheet this week. Orange belt sheet features front grabs. Our first technique is called dragon tail. There's an attacker standing in front of you, two hands holding your shirt. Everybody, please take your right hand. You're going to go in between the attacker's hands. Put your hands together, knocking them off your chest, chambering your arms. Take your left leg step forward, push. Let's try it again together. The attacker is holding you, two hands on your shirt, standing in front of you. Take your right hand, go inside the attacker's arms, put your hands together. Knock the attacker's arms off your chest, left leg step forward, push. Let's try it fast. One, two, three. Oh yeah! Dragon tail. One, two, three. Oh yeah! One more time. Dragon tail. The attacker is standing in front of you holding your shirt with two hands. Right hand inside the arms. Both hands together. Knock the hands off your chest. Left leg step forward, push, and guard. We also have front double wrist grab, exactly as it sounds. The attacker standing in front of you, holding both of your wrists. Now remember to get out of somebody's hand, open their thumb. To get out of someone's grip, open their thumb. So if the attacker's holding your wrists, take your right leg step backwards. Circle your wrist outwards. It'll also take the attacker's hands and circle the attacker's hands outward, exposing the thumbs. Right leg step backwards. As you flip your hands over, exposing the thumbs, rip your hands out like you're doing two outward blocks. Knock the attacker's arms down with two downward blocks. Right leg front kick, left leg front kick, butterfly palm. Ayah! Let's practice together. The attacker is holding both wrists. The technique is called front double wrist grab. Take your right leg, step back in a fighting stance. Circle your arms out. Knock the attacker's arms down. Front kick, front kick, butterfly palms. Ayah! Let's try it together. Right leg step back, circle and rip your arms out of the grip like two outward blocks. Knock the arms down, just like two downward blocks. Front kick to the knee, front kick to the knee, butterfly palm, ayah, to the ribs. One more time, front double wrist grab. Both hands out, right leg step back, Rip your arms out. Knock the attacker's arms down. Front kick. Front kick. Butterfly palm. We have one more on the orange belt sheet. It's called the wedge. The wedge, the attacker, two hands in front of you, wrapped around your neck. Take your right hand. Flip it up. Take your left hand, connect your thumbs together. Take your right leg, step forward, strike the chin, hit down on the nose, hit into the neck, step away in your guard. The wedge, the attacker has two hands wrapped around the front of you. Hands together, this is called a hand clasp. Right leg step forward, strike up, down, in, the wedge. Right leg step forward, hit the chin, the nose, the neck, guard. One more time, the wedge. Go. Great job. 
Great job so far, team. Our goal this week is to take some of our patterns that we already know and put them in a different situation. I'd like to practice our front double wrist grab. Please follow me. Right leg step backwards. Circle your arms out. Knock the arms down. Front kick. Front kick. Butterfly palm. Your orange belt paper says the attacker is grabbing both of your wrists in front of you. What I'd like to do is open up your mind today. Can you see a two-hand push? I would like you to take your mind away from the wrist being grabbed. And I want you to see a two-hand push. Here comes the attacker. Can you see it? I want you to take your right leg step away. Double outward blocks like we just did. The next move is a double downward block. Well, if somebody's pushing you, we're not going to do that double downward block. But I'd like to do the same thing that we already know. Double outward block. Take a look. What's halfway to the downward block? See that inward block? Halfway to the downward block is an inward block. So what I'd like to do, can you see the push? Step back, block the push. Can you see the attacker's head right here? Smash it with two inward blocks. Hit the attacker with the front kick, the front kick, and the palms. Ayah! So we're gonna take our same front double wrist grab technique from our junior orange belt paper. The orange belt paper says the attacker is holding your wrists. Step backwards. Rip your arms out of the attacker's hands with a double outward block. Knock the attacker's arms out of the way. You see that inward block halfway to the downward block? Front kick, front kick, butterfly palm. Now I'd like you to envision the attacker throwing the push. Step back, double outward blocks. And instead of knocking the, there are no arms down here. Remember the attacker is up here now throwing the push. So instead of doing the downward block, remember halfway to the downward block is an inward block. So I want to do an inward block smash. I'm going to be the attacker. You be the defender. Take your right leg, step backwards, double outward block, open my push, double inward block smash to the head. Front kick to the knee, front kick to the knee, butterfly palm to the ribs. And this is how your Kenpo works, everybody. You can take a pattern that you already know and possibly apply it to a different scenario. So let's practice two more times. The first time, front double wrist grab exactly as it is on your orange belt paper. The attacker is holding both of your wrists standing in front of you. Step back, rip your arms out, knock the arms down. Front kick, front kick, pow, a god. And now I'd like you to open your mind. What if it's a push? Can this pattern still work? Yes, it can. Take your right leg, step back, open the push, smash the head, front kick, front kick, pounds. You did great today, everybody. I'd like you to get yourself a partner, ask them to hold your wrists in front of you and practice front double wrist grab. Ask the same partner to then push you and practice the exact same pattern. Have a lot of fun, everybody. And I'll see you next time. Asa. Hi, everybody. Sensei Mark Gallagher here from AmeriKick Northeast Philadelphia. This is your AmeriKick at home training and our senior Kempo lesson this week we're gonna take some of our Kenpo patterns and apply them to different situations. I'd like to focus on our orange belt sheet today. Please, let's get started. First technique we're gonna do is called side headlock. Side headlock, the attacker is standing with their right arm wrapped around your neck. So if everybody could please lean forward and I want you to imagine the attacker standing here next to you. 
First thing, check the attacker's wrist and tuck your chin. Take your right foot, step in front of the attacker, double hammer fist. Take your left hand, grab the attacker's hair, ripping the head back, palm to the face, knee to the thigh. Let's try that again together. The attacker is standing here on my left side with the right arm wrapped around my neck. Check the wrist and everybody take your right leg, step forward, double hammer fist, left hand reaching up the back, grabbing the hair, ripping the head back, palm to the face, knee to the thigh. Let's do that one more time. Side headlock. This is from the senior orange belt paper. The attacker has their right arm wrapped around your neck. The attacker is on your left side. Check the wrist. Right leg step forward. Double hammer. Left hand reach up the back, grab the hair. Rift the head back. Palm to the chin. Knee to the thigh. Second technique I'd like to practice today, heel hook. Heel hook, the attacker is standing behind you. An attempted full Nelson. If you know a full Nelson, the attacker reaches from behind, underneath of your arms, and then behind your neck. Pushing your head forward, pulling your arms backwards. And it can be very strenuous on the neck and shoulders. This technique, full Nelson, whether you feel the attempt coming under your arms, whatever, you anticipate the full Nelson and you are able to shoot your arms down, at the same time, straighten your neck out and headbutt the attacker in the face. You then take your right leg, side kick the inside of the knee, inside of the knee, and stomp on the foot. Heel kick the inside of the knee, I'm sorry. Heel kick the inside of the knee, side kick the inside of the knee, stomp on the foot. So if you do this perfect, your right foot heel kick hits the inside of the attacker's knee, your right leg side kick hits the inside of the knee and gives you a great stomp on the ankle. Let's try that a few more times together. You feel the attacker coming under your arms and behind your head. So if the attacker is successful, the attacker is behind you, comes under your arms with the hands and behind your head, pushing your head down and pulling your arms backwards. Before it gets there, it's getting a little bit too late, shoot your arms down, cross them in front of you. Head butt backwards. Take your right foot, heel kick the inside of the knee, Side kick the inside of the knee, stomp on the ankle, and guard. One more time. Punch down, headbutt backwards. Heel kick, side kick, stomp, and guard. I'd like to focus on one more technique today. Japanese stranglehold. Japanese stranglehold, the attacker is standing behind you. One arm is wrapped around your neck. So if I'm the attacker, my right arm wrapping around your neck. Around your neck, from behind. A one arm stranglehold, from behind. So first thing I'd like y'all to do, check the wrist, tuck your chin. Drop into a horse stance. Left elbow goes to the stomach, hammer goes to the groin, elbow goes to the chin, spin the guard open. Keep in mind, everybody, this technique might take you 10 minutes. The most important thing is checking that wrist and not allowing the choke to make it around your neck. Horse stance. Once you feel like you have some strength and you can now go one hand versus one hand. Because right now the attacker has one arm wrapped around your neck. You have two hands defending. When it's time, you need to take a chance. Elbow, hammer, elbow, spin the attacker's arm open, get into your guard. One more time, Japanese stranglehold. The attacker is behind you, 
with their right arm wrapped around your neck. Got it? Check the wrist, tuck your chin, drop your height, strike to the body, to the groin, to the chin, spin the arm open, and get into your guard. Let's open up our mind a little bit, everybody. The first technique we did, side headlock. The attacker was standing next to me in a headlock. Let's do our pattern, please. Take your right leg step forward, double hammer fist. I'm gonna make this big, you'll see why. Left hand grab, right hand palm, right hand knee. Let's take that first move, the double hammer. First thing I'd like y'all to do, take your left hand out and just give me the right hand. And let's go outward block, inward block. So our first move in the side headlock technique is a double hammer fist. Let's take the left hand out of it and I want you to see a right hand jab. I'm the attacker, I'm standing in front of you. Can you see the right hand jab? So I need your right arm outward block on the outside of my elbow. So right arm outward block here. Your right hand hammer fist goes over this arm and to the body. Let's try that together. Can you see the right jab? Can you see it? Outward block. Keep your arm on top of the attacker's arm. Hammer fist to the body. Instead of the grab and the pull, let's just make this a short, quick palm hammer guard. Let's try that together. The attacker's throwing a right jab. Block the right jab. Keep your arm, your outward block. Here's the attacker. Keep your outward block on top of the arm. So once you block it, keep your arm on top, roll it right into your hammer fist. You are here. Your outward block is here. Your hammer fist pushes the arm, strikes the body. Your left hand palm to the back of the neck, right hand hammer to the face, right knee to the thigh. So we're gonna take our side headlock technique, take the same pattern, but we're gonna do it against the right jab. Block, hammer, palm, hammer, knee. Let's do it again. Can you see the right jab? Dodge it, block it, stay on top of the arm, shove the arm into the attacker's body, palm the back of the head, hammer to the face, knee to the thigh and get out. Let's move on to heel hook. Heel hook, the attacker standing behind you, attempting the full Nelson. We have a pattern, one, two, three. You'll find that in the full Nelson technique from the green belt paper, which is kind of an extension to the full Nelson from the heel hook on orange. Remember I said on orange belt, you are able to anticipate the hook kick, the side kick, and the stomp. In the technique full Nelson on the green belt paper, your arms are up. Smack the attacker in the ears. Claw the attacker in the face. Grab something. Drop your arms. Get to your punch. And now you have your heel hook technique. One, two, three. So what I'd like to do is take the pattern from full Nelson. One, two, three. You can see the full Nelson, right? You can see the head behind me, right? Grab the face, drop your arms. Now you're strong enough to get to your 
heel hook position. So what I'd like to do, can you see the left hook? Can you see an attacker in front of you with the left hook? Can you see the left hook punch? Can you see that and that? Well, when the attacker throws the left hook punch, can you see it? It's about to hit you. Hit the chin. Just shoot right in and hit the chin with an elbow. Attacker's in front of you. They're throwing a big monster left hook. You're bypassing the block and you're just taking your right foot, stepping straight in with an elbow, back down with a hammer fist. And now, remember that rear hook kick we did? This would be a perfect time to hook the knee with the inside and side kick. So you can take a simple pattern, one, two, three, and you can turn it into your strikes. One, two, a simple elbow. Secondly, we could take a heel hook kick that goes backwards. Do the same thing going forward. One goes behind you, you take your heel, your instep. Smack the inside of the knee. One goes in front of you. Tick your heel and your instep. Smack the inside of the knee. And the best thing about that, that strike is a chamber for your side kick. One, two, or one, two. Great ways to double attack the knee, everybody. Let's move on to our last one. Japanese stranglehold. We have a pattern. Elbow, hammer, elbow. What I'd like to do is jump over to our purple belt sheet. We have a technique called the shield. Just like our last one. Can you see the left hook? A big swinging left hook. Take your right leg, block the left hook. Palm to the face. Hammer fist to the temple. Elbow to the chest. Do you remember the first move in Japanese stranglehold? Do you see the last move in the shield? Very similar. So what I'd like to do is add on my Japanese stranglehold pattern to my shield pattern. And this is another way that you can adapt with your Kenpo. Patterns that you have on sheets can be applied to different scenarios. We have a scenario, Japanese stranglehold. What if someone has their arm wrapped around your neck? Check their wrist, hit them in the body with an elbow, hit them in the groin with a hammer, hit them in the chin with an elbow, and get out of there. We have another technique, the shield. The scenario here is a left hook punch. Block it, palm, hammer, elbow, hammer, elbow, get out of there. Lots of options, everybody. We're gonna focus on taking the patterns that you already know and love, applying them to different scenarios. So what I would really recommend, get yourself a partner for the three techniques that we practice today. Side headlock, have them stand next to you and wrap their arm around your neck and put you in a headlock. That same person can throw a right jab and you should be able to do the same pattern. We have another pattern, heel hook from the orange sheet, full Nelson, a little more advanced version of heel hook from the green sheet. You could take a simple pattern of up, down and apply it to an up, down. We have lots of those in Kempo. You have our third technique, Japanese stranglehold. The scenario, someone's behind you. Hit them with the elbow, hammer, elbow. Put that scenario into a different situation against the left hook. Block the hook, hit them with the elbow, hammer, elbow. Get yourself a partner and have some fun, everybody. I really appreciate your time. We'll do it again soon. Asa. Hi, everybody. Sensei Mark Gallagher here from AmeriKick Northeast Philadelphia. This is your AmeriKick at home training and our senior Kenpo black belt lesson this week. What I'm doing is reaching out to my AmeriKick peers 
and asking them, what's your favorite AmeriKick black belt technique? I spoke with Sensei Sue Frank today from AmeriKick Haddon Heights. She said, raking mace. So everybody please join me. Raking mace looks just like this. Let's practice that one together. Raking mace, if anybody knows striking snake from the senior purple belt sheet, raking mace is an extension to this technique. The attacker is grabbing you on your shirt with two hands and pulling you in. So if you could see the attacker standing in front of you holding your shirt, two hands pulling you, please follow along with me. Take your left hand, stick it in their eyes as you check the hands. Take your right middle knuckle, right leg step forward, solar plexus, same right middle knuckle, across the temple and the bridge of the nose, right hand, chop to the face or to the neck. Right arm, check the arms, left thumb, left ear clap, right elbow. Left claw to the face, cat stance. Right down our back fist to the nose. Right front kick low, right lifting back fist to the chin, downward chop to the neck, left push to the shoulder, left round kick to the thigh, landing in your guard. Let's try that again, please. Fingers to the eyes. Knuckle, knuckle, chop, check, elbow. There's your base technique, striking snake. Everything after that is going to be your raking mace extension. Claw to the face, back fist to the nose. As you pull into a cat stance, get your check hand up. Front kick goes low, lifting back fist into your downward chop. Left palm, left round kick and your guard. One more time slow, please, everybody. Raking mace for the two hand lapel grab on your shirt, pulling you inward. Follow me, please. I rake, knuckle, knuckle, chop, check, elbow, claw, back fist, front kick, back fist, chop, pound, kick, guard. You got a lot to practice, everybody. The goal is speed. Sensei Sue, thank you so much for the recommendation. We'll do another one tomorrow. Asa!